Hi, my name is Brooke and I work with Nebraska Agriculture in the Classroom. We are going live every day this week at 10 a.m. as we spring into science with farming in a glove. To get started, you will need our scientific journal that is found in the link above. This will help us keep track of, the, of our crop's growth throughout the next 12 days. Go ahead and download that link if you, or download that journal if you haven't already, and we'll go ahead and get started. Your journal will look a little bit like this. It's four pages, and it will be used as we follow along to keep track of our crops that we planted this week. So join me on this journey as we make predictions about how our seeds grow and discover what they need to grow. Why are plants important to us? Go ahead and drop your answers in the comments below. Plants are part of our everyday lives. From the food we eat, to the clothes we wear, to the cars we drive, we can give credit to plants. Plants are grown for human use, for us to eat, for us to wear and to power our vehicles. What do you think happens when a seed grows? What do plants need to grow? What do we have to give our plants in order for them to grow? Go ahead and drop them in the comments. We might need soil, water, maybe sunlight. We will find out this week after we have planted our glove. We are going to go ahead and plant our very own farm in a glove as we watch it grow. So if you look here, I labeled my glove as farm. We are going to plant four crops. So the first crop we're going to plant is corn soybeans, wheat, and dry bean. So follow along as I begin to plant my glove. We need to give our glove water. So I have a cup of water here. We need four cotton balls and our four seeds. I'm going to take my cotton ball and place it in the water. What do you think would happen if we gave our seeds too much water? We want to make sure that we have just enough water in our glove for our seeds to grow, but not too much. So I squeezed my cotton ball out over my cup to make sure it was wet, but not dripping wet. And I will add it to my glove. I'll place a cotton ball in each of the four fingers. So again, I'm getting my cotton ball wet, but not too wet. We have one more. If you're just tuning in, we are doing farming in a glove in our spring to science lesson where we are planting our very own seeds that are grown right here in Nebraska. And so we are getting our cotton balls wet because we need water for our seeds to grow. It looks like someone is joining us and they said plants are important because it provides us with food. You are correct. Food is essential and we need it every single day to stay healthy. Our next step, now that I have all four cotton balls in my glove, is to plant our seeds. So I said the first seed we're going to plant today is a corn seed. Corn seeds are yellow, typically. This corn seed, though, is not the type of corn we eat. This is called field corn or dent corn. And we feed a lot of this corn to our cows in Nebraska. 
And if you look closely here, if you can see that, there's a tiny little dent in the kernel. And that is why we call it dent corn. We are going to plant that in our glove. I want to make sure that my seeds are touching the cotton ball so that they can get the water that they're going to need. The next seed we're going to plant is a soybean seed. Soybean seeds are grown a lot in Nebraska as well. They are small and round and they have a brown little spot. Sometimes we eat soybeans as edamame. We will find out later this week all of the different uses for each of these crops. So I'm going to go ahead and plant my soybean seed in the bag and make sure our seed is touching the cotton ball. So we have our corn and our soybean seed planted. The next seed we're going to plant is a wheat seed. Wheat seeds are really tiny compared to the other seeds we're planting today. Does anybody know what we use wheat for? What can we turn wheat into? Oops. We can turn wheat into flour, which we use in a lot of the food products that we bake with. I'm going to make sure I have it in the right spot in my glove. There we go. Make sure it's touching the cotton ball. And then the last seed we're planting today is our dry bean. This is a pinto bean. Nebraska is the second largest producer of the pinto bean. And so we grow a lot of different dry beans as well. I see that we said wheat can be used for bread as well. Someone also commented the reason why we don't put too much water in our cotton balls or to give our seeds is because it could um, have our seeds drown, which would not allow our seeds to grow, which you are correct. So we are going to plant our very last seed today. And this is the dry bean. We will also make sure that it is touching our cotton ball. If you take a close look here, we have our corn seed, our soybean seed, our wheat seed, and our dry bean. Do you know what it's called when our seed starts to sprout? What do we call that? See if we have any answers below. We call the process of our seed sprouting germination. Germination is the process of our seeds starting to grow. We want to take a look and observe how many days it takes for our seeds to start to sprout or to germinate. So that is what we're going to follow, follow along with. I want you to take a good look at what these seeds look like right now. And we'll look again tomorrow as we identify the difference that our seeds are making each day. You will need your scientific journal next as we make predictions along the way. This scientific journal has a picture of our glove right up here. So it has my farm, the corn seed, soybean seed, wheat, and dry bean that we planted. There's also a list right here. We are going to make our predictions next and we'll get started right here. So number one under my predictions, I think blank seeds will start growing first. Of these four seeds, which of these four will start to sprout or germinate first? Do you think it'll be corn, 
soybeans, wheat, or dry bean. Go ahead and write your prediction in the blank. You can use this word bank to help you spell the words correctly. Number two, I think it'll take blank days for the first seed to start growing. Remember, we are going to watch and observe our seeds for the next 12 days. Do you think our seeds will start to grow within the next 12 days? They will. So in the next 12 days, on what day do you think our first seed will start to sprout or germinate? Go ahead and write that day in blank number two. Then on question number three, it says, I will draw what I predict the seeds will look like on day 12. So at the end of this video, take the time to draw a picture of what you think the seeds will look like at day 12. We are going to go live every day this week for the first five days as we look at our seeds. And then I will post a picture on Facebook of the observations and the changes they are making each day so that you can continue your journal. We will flip this over to day one on our journal. And it says, I planted blank different seeds. How many different seeds did we plant today? We planted four different seeds today. Can you remind me which seeds we planted? We planted corn, soybeans, wheat, and dry beans. These are four of Nebraska's top crops that we grow in our state. Can you remind me, why did we say seeds are important to us? Seeds are part of our everyday lives. From the food we eat, to the clothes we wear, and to the cars we drive, we give our credit to our plants. And farmers are the people responsible for growing the food that we need to eat and to stay healthy. So follow along with me each day at 10 a.m. as we learn about a new crop that we grow in Nebraska, how we grow it, what it's used for, and then we will also track our farming in a glove. So I am going to tie a string around my glove so that our seeds do not fall out. And at the end of this video, I'm going to hang this glove in the window behind me in my kitchen, and we will hang it up in the window. Why do you think we're going to hang it in the window? What could be the reason for that? Can you think of another thing that a seed might need to grow? We will find out over the next five days. So tune in tomorrow again at 10 a.m as we follow the journey of our seed growth. Remember, we call our seed sprouting germination. All right, I'll post that video in, or I'll post that picture of our seeds hanging in the window in the comments below.